friends! <laughs> Welcome to my channel. It's me, Elaine. So today I have a Yes Style haul. I ordered a lot of stuff from Yes Style. I think it's the most clothes I've ever bought in one go. I think without discount codes and everything, it was around $200. And I, I don't know why I expected the box to be small, but it's, <laughs> it's such a big box. <laughs> But anyways, I'll be trying on these clothes and letting you know what I think. So for Yes Style, you do have to be aware of sizing because it is an Asian brand. So it goes by Asian sizing. So I just size up for a lot of these clothes. I'll leave my measurements here and the description box below. So first we have this orange crop tank top. It's super cute. The quality is really nice. It's like nice thick quality. It also like fits me perfectly, it like fits right at the waist which is something I really like. The only thing is the armholes are a little tight, my arms aren't even that big so maybe it's just Asian sizing. It is also one size so just be sure to look at the measurements on their website. Next I got this plaid red crop top, um, I believe I got it in a size small but I didn't size up for this one but oh my god look how cute this is look at like the details there's like a zipper that actually unzips there's a little like pocket flap it's a fake pocket though there's also this buckle down here so you can like tighten the length but super cute top next top is this ooh, next top is this black crop camisole i mean it's pretty basic top there's some like ribbing can't really see on camera but there's like ribbing down the camisole. I really wanted to like this one, but the straps for some reason are just really close to the center for me. So it like kind of squishes your like underarm fat, which is not exactly ideal. They also come with cups, so you don't have to wear a bra under it. It's one size, so which is why it looks super small, but it's like really stretchy. I honestly might just cut off the straps and make it a two top because it just doesn't fit me personally. I'd still wear it though. Next is this little button up shirt. This is, I think, one of my top pieces from this haul. I don't really have any clothing like this. I was kind of hesitant to get it at first, but I'm so glad I did. And yeah, I think you could style this like a variety of ways. You could like, leave one side tucked in, you could button it up, you could tie it as a crop top, just leave it open. There's so many ways to wear this. It has this like, I think like, Chinese art print on it, which I think is really nice. I'm just so excited to have this in my wardrobe. Now I have this cream color crop, cream color crop, cream color crop cardigan. I've seen like the crop cardigans are super trendy these days, so I decided to get one for myself. I think this was also one size. It's super warm. I expected not to be able to wear this on cold days or something. But actually, when I was trying this on, I was sweating so much. So I think I'll be wearing this for sure in the winter time. Now I have this off the shoulder, it's like cold, I think it's called cold shoulder crop top. Um, the straps are actually these like, little buckle things, which I think are cool. It comes like undone, so you have to like buckle them yourself, but it's not that hard. I actually got this in a size small, which again, I didn't size up, but it's actually still a little bit big on me on the waist at least. The arms fit fine, but just the waist part's a little big. Very cute top, kind of reminds me of like the Chinese street fashion videos I've been going around everywhere. So I, and I'm also trying to expand like my fashion taste or like expand my comfort zone in terms of fashion. So I'm glad I got this. I think this is the last top I have, but it's this corduroy jacket. This jacket is so nice. I don't know, I'm so happy. The jacket is pretty thin, so if you live in a colder area, that might be something to be aware of. But I live in California, it's hot as here at like all the time. I really like layering without overheating, so this is a great piece. You could wear this on like summer nights as well when it gets cold. Has like really deep pockets. <laughs> Wait, I just realized this pocket is fake, but on the other side, this one is real. This is actually one size, but it fits super nice on me. Has the oversized look I wanted. So the first one in the bottoms that I got is this plaid yellow skirt. I got it in a size medium. I probably could have sized down for this one because the waist is pretty stretchy. Oh, there's also undershorts, so you don't flash in one. But, but yeah, this the length for this is really nice too. Like. I don't know if dress codes are so a thing. I don't know, I'm in college now, so there's not really a dress code, 
it goes past my fingers and I feel like I have longer legs. So if you're in high school or something, this is a pretty good bet. Another skirt I got <laughs> is this skater skirt. I don't know, is this, how do you call this? Tennis skirt, right? I did not think I would like this this much because I don't usually wear skater skirts as much anymore. But I don't know, I saw like all the girls on Instagram wear like the trendy tennis skirts and I thought like they were really cute. So I thought I'd try it myself and it fits me really well. I got a size medium. The waist is a tiny bit loose on this, but I don't think I should have sized down or so it wouldn't have fit my butt. It is a little bit short, but I personally don't mind. There's also shorts under this one and it's, it fits me more tightly, so I'm not really gonna flash anyone. I just feel so cute in this skirt. Makes me so happy. This is the last of the skirts I got and oh my god. This was the skirt or like even the item that I was most anticipating but I was so sad. I didn't fit. Okay well it kind of does fit because I did a try on portion but like there's no way I can wear this out. The waist fits fine but the fabric literally has no give whatsoever. It's like really stiff material. The leg slit like really like digs into my thighs. I got this in a size medium which worked for literally all the other skirts I got but this one was just, we were just not meant to be. Unfortunate. I really want to like this one. Pants. Now I have these pants. They're like, I think, I don't these like, are these cargo pants? I think on the website they were called the harem pants. Harem? Harem? I don't know how to pronounce these things. I bought this thinking about like the buckle top I also bought because like these pants also have buckles. I actually got a size large in these because I know a lot of times for like sweats they don't fit me well especially the ones with like ruched bottoms because I have longer legs and they like are often really short. Unfortunately these did come short but I don't think it'll be a problem if I wear like boots or something with them so it's not too bad. The waist is also very stretchy, so it was a little big on my waist, but it, it has belt loops, so I can just wear a belt with it. There's also a ton of pockets. There's two pockets on each side. Yeah, good pants. I am saving the best pants for last. <laughs> These Kuroi pants are probably my favorite thing in the entire haul. I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't own any white bottoms. I'm super clumsy and scared I'm gonna spill something on it or like fall. But oh my god, these are so nice. I got a size medium for this and they fit me like really perfectly. I'm decently tall and these go down to like my ankle, which is... <sighs> Chef kiss. They are a little bit loose on my waist, but I generally like my pants a little bit looser. So, you know, I have space to eat. Or I can just put on a belt because I like belts and they're cute. Okay, next. I got one dress this entire haul. It was this, was it like Jacker? Jacker? I can't pronounce things. I was really scared about getting this dress because I wasn't sure how it would fit in the reviews. Like, I don't think there were any from tall people. So I was just like, is this even gonna cover my butt? Thankfully it does. I got a size medium to be safe. It is still a little bit short and the waist fits kind of weirdly. I think it's fine if I like layer it with the jacket so it's like a casual like going out kind of thing. I was looking forward to this one as well but unfortunately I probably won't be able to wear this by itself because it just kind of fits me weirdly but I can just layer it with something else so it's still wearable. Next I have these sheer grid socks. I don't know I just don't have any like sheer socks like this and I thought they were kind of cute. Edgy but also cute. They come in like a variety of colors and like designs. I just thought the black grid pattern fit my style the most. I feel like I'm super late to the chunky sneaker trend, but you know, better late than never. So I got these white and pink iridescent chunky sneakers. They were only like 20 bucks or something like that. So I was like, why not, you know? I got these in a size 39 and I am a size seven and a half. You can just look up the conversion from Asian sizing to American sizing on Google. Oh, another thing, so they have like, I don't know how much is like an inch and a half of heel in them. 
I, I was not expecting that. So if you want to subtly be taller, grab these shoes. Okay, accessories. So I got this smiley face bucket hat. I really like bucket hats, but the only problem is I have like a kind of a big head. I don't know. I feel like it's not that big, but apparently it is. And like, I just can't seem to make it look good on my head. It's just a bit small. I just feel like it looks kind of weird. The quality of this hat is also really nice. So if you have like an average size head, I suppose like, go for it but if you're like me and you have a fat ass head unfortunate i also ordered a couple belts because i use them a lot since i like my jeans a little bit looser so the first one i have is this heart buckle belt the belts are like all one size i believe but it actually fit my waist i've bought so many belts that just don't fit my waist even if it's like an extra small or small for some reason in american sizing so I'm just super glad that this fits. Also, just look at the detailing on it. It's just so cute. The quality is really nice. I also got two like rope belts. I don't know if this is what you call them. I got one in yellow. I also got one in red. I already have a similar belt to this in black. So I just wanted to expand the collection. They can fit like a super large variety of sizes. So that's why I like to get these belts. Also, they just look really nice. Red and yellow are colors that I wear pretty often, so I'm excited to match them with my outfits. Okay, I'm not sure why I forgot to record myself talking about these, but this is just like a pair of red tinted sunglasses, and they're super cute and go with a lot of outfits. Yep. Also got some jewelry. This is like a layered chain necklace. I don't know. I just want to live out my e-girl dreams. <laughs> it did come with like another, like an even longer necklace that had a heart on it. That one broke, unfortunately. So I just wear it like this. I don't really care, honestly. While we're on the topic of chains and ego jewelry, I got these little chain earrings. I've worn these already. They're super cute. Even though my skin is warm tone, I tend to like silver jewelry, so I got the silver color. But if you like warm tone jewelry, gold jewelry, there's also a gold version. Next on jewelry, I have these little blue moon and star earrings. They're super like dainty. I think they come in pink as well. They kind of remind me of like Sailor Moon. Next on the jewelry list, I have these super cute fried egg earrings. They also have like a stud version instead if you don't like the dangly ones, but I like the dangly ones. <laughs> I love eggs. So I thought I'd get these earrings in honor of the fact, you know, I love eggs. <laughs> There's nothing else to it. I love eggs. I got some phone accessories. So first is this like selfie ring light, a mini, mini ring light. I don't know. So it, you charge it via USB, which it comes with. So I think the light on this is like pretty, pretty good. You like, you can clip it onto your phone as well. Or like I could use it for lighting for TikToks or something. Next, I got this little phone tripod. I also wanted to get it for TikTok, but unfortunately, I don't think I read the reviews right, or maybe I'm just not using this right, but I think I can only put my phone in it like sideways. So it's really more for like watching stuff on your phone. I can't seem to like stretch it, like the phone holdy part enough to like fit my phone vertically. Unfortunate. So I got some lashes. They're right here. I'm actually wearing them right now. I don't usually wear lashes that are these big or dramatic, but these are super soft. Like I've had some lashes that just hurt or like they just make my eyes water or itch. But these so far have been pretty good. Like I usually wear doe lashes and those are like known for very, being very comfortable. And these come pretty close, so I'd say this is pretty worth it. Next I have this tiny sample of nutrition cream. I just really needed a new moisturizer and I saw this was on like sale and discount so I just wanted to try it. It's literally only 9 milliliters, but you know, it's the mini size. I haven't used this enough to see if it makes like an astounding difference in my skin, but I think it does really moisturize my skin. I don't really know a lot about skincare and like the technical terms and things like that. I mean, my skin feels really soft and healthy after I use it, so I'm not complaining. The last thing I have is this sunscreen stick. 
I've never actually used a sunscreen stick and this was something that YesStyle actually sent me for free to review. I've used this for a couple days now and I think I really like it actually. Like the bar itself is like curved so it like fits your face when you're like applying it. Also this sunscreen is SPF 50. Like the SPF 50 or above sunscreens that I've used in America are all super thick and leave like a film on my face and make me feel gross. This does not! It also has a little twisty thing on the bottom, so like, you can like twist it up, twist it down, put a little glue stick, but like, it's sunscreen. Don't put glue stick on your face. And that was everything I got! Thanks for watching my Yes Style haul. If you want to buy anything in this video, I've left everything in the description box below, as well as the discount code that you can use to get a percent off. This was also my first YouTube video, so thank you for watching my first YouTube video. If you want, you can subscribe or like the video or comment if you have any questions. See you all soon!